Hello world, this is the Hacker Trip 7 and today I'll be doing 11 tricks and tips on improving your Google searching skills. What that means is basically I'll be showing you guys how to use Google to its full advantage and get exactly what you want faster and basically save you lots of time using world's best search engine. Now one of the most popular um, known man to trick or tricks known to man is using quotation marks. So by typing in simply a statement with quotation marks, all your search results will be limited to that exact thing. So as you see, all the page, all the stuff on this page has "hello the world." So no matter what world will always come after hello. This can really limit your search if you're um, looking for a specific statement. So you can enter that in with quotation marks and you'll find more things on that exact statement. Now by adding the another trick is using the minus sign. So for example uh, I'll be using Linux distributions. So many people know about Linux. Uh, many you run to lots of distributions. Now by by using the minus symbol it will actually eliminate one that word. So by searching Linux distributions I'll have all the distributions obviously. By, by putting the minus sign then you want to That eliminates all of Ubuntu. So no matter now in all these pages, you will find nothing about Ubuntu. Everything will be Linux distributions without the Ubuntu part. This is useful if you've already found some information on something and you want other information on it. You can search it and minus out what you found. That way, you find different information. Next, the next search or our next one will be um, searching sites. So let's say you have a website and you want to search that website. So for example, I have how to geek. I want to check them out their awesome website by the way. Um, by putting site colon website.com and then putting a basically a search and searching that, you get stuff from their website. So as you see now, all of these articles here are all from the how to geek. So that's how you search a website. And again, you can use this for all kinds of websites. If you have a website and you can't find something on the website, you can use this technique to find something on their website, as long as it's published to Google, obviously. The next one is the uh, tied symbol. So um, by putting tied and then geek, we get stuff. Let's see. By putting tied in geek, it searches stuff that has to relates to geek. So according to Google, related words to geek are Linux, obviously the word geek, and Greek and more Linux. So basically what the tied symbol does is it allows you, it searches the word but also more things like stuff related to the word. This can be useful if you're searching up a topic, but you're not exactly sure, but it's a broad topic, you can use a tide symbol so you can explore more areas of the topic because it will allow you to search things that are kind of related to the topic. Next we have the asterisk. This allows you to um, Match, you can match any word. For example, if you wanted to see how many, see what companies Google has purchased and how much they paid, you can use the search. So the search right here, using the quotation marks, so that um, basically it searches the exact statement. We get this. So Google has purchased, this, and then the asterisk basically allows Google to fill it in for you. Using this, you can use multiple companies or anything else with you want Google to fill in the blanks for you. 
Next thing, next thing for us is time ranges. Um, Google actually can search using time ranges. So let's say we wanted to search Ubuntu from 2008 to 2010. If we type in Ubuntu 2008.2010, we get Ubuntu, whatever Google can find at that state. So as you see here, we have the word 2010, that's why it came up. And here we have 910. So everything here we find now is everything published in from a time frame from 2008 to 2010. So you see here we have 2010, um, stuff when you went to 1004. So basically, it it helps Google put you back in time almost to when stuff was published what you went to in 2008 to 2010. Next, we have um, the OR option. So by searching the OR option, it lets you find words that contain one term or another. For example, using the following search will pull up results that contain into the contain either the word Ubuntu or the word Linux. So I'll be showing you guys Ubuntu or Linux. Sorry, I am reading off a script off of my other monitor. So now if we go Ubuntu or Linux, it shows web pages that have either Linux or Ubuntu. So as you guys can see, the first page is about Ubuntu, the second page is about Linux. Linux, Linux, Linux or Linux, and then Ubuntu. So this allows you not to search for both of them at once, but it says, give me this one or this one. Now, another awesome feature of Google, which I, I use all, all, all the time, is definitions. So, to do this, all you have to do is type in de define colon and type in a word. So, for example, happy. And at the top, you'll actually get a little different section with a feeling. So it's an adjective, and the number one definition for it is feeling or showing pleasure or contentment. So that's the definition. And obviously, you can click the, the little links on here, and you can get a more detailed result from either dictionary.com or something along those lines. The next thing is uh, Google is actually a calculator. Now, many people knew, do know this, but some people actually don't. Um, you type in any equation into Google, and it will give you a straight out answer. So, here's an equation 4 plus 2 times 6 divided by 3. And here, equals 12. Now, if we click more with the calculator, we can find out some more information. To use Google Building Calculator, you simply enter the equation and hit search. So basically, and you can enter in basically multiple equations. Um, very long equations will also give it will also give the answers. This is like your number one uh, big ass calculator. Another thing, nice, nice thing with Google is its unit conversions. The calculator can also convert between units. So if we type in this statement right here and press enter, it tells us that. This equals 9.26 kilometers. And that's about it for this video, guys. Um, I hope you guys liked the uh, tips and tricks on how to improve your Google searching skills. Uh, please like the video if you uh, ever use one of these. And or if you have any uh, other questions or comments, you guys can obviously leave a comment below. Or send me a personal message on YouTube. Or uh, contact me on Twitter. Well, besides that, uh, this is Dr. 7 and I'm signing off.